cannot feel the intimacy with your partner at the same time. Like, there's no heat. <laughs> it's like having a stick on your private pee pee. Well, you can ask your Filipina. If you have a Filipina wife or a girlfriend, then you can ask. And let's see what's her answer. What is your experience with your Filipina? <laughs> and I'm sure they say, don't use condoms. It's not fun. I cannot feel your thing. Welcome, welcome to our, our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. My name is Asmi. It's me, Roger. And, and welcome, welcome to Roger, Roger and Asmi Vlogs. So today's subject, unprotected bang bang is common in the Philippines. Before we start, again, salamat sa inyong pagigugma o pagsuporta sa among channel. Thank you so much for your love and support, guys. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell for new uploads or new videos. So before we start this topic, if you don't like this type of subject, please skip the video right away and choose a suitable video for you. Yes. And now one of our uh, subscribers made a comment and he asked about sex education and also and protected sex. Yes, yeah, so his comment is like this. So this comment is from Mark. How common is condoms? Why don't the Philippines have sex education in school? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Now, as you all know, in the Philippines, around 80% of Filipinos are Roman Catholic. Yes, and because of that, they are stricting schools to elaborate sex education. And they would actually teach them, but not to the extent that it's pure detailed. Yeah, it's yes. not the subject. So this is just being introduced to the students. Yes, without the details. So there is sex education, but not elaborately explaining it correct and mostly filipinos especially parents would really oppose that if sex education is, is being taught now what will happen yes what will happen to their kids so kids would go to the pharmacy to buy other contraceptives aside from condoms so it, it's really irritating for the eyes of the adults, right? Yeah, but they do not know what's the, the good impact to that if sex education is being taught. Yes, in school, because it's really important. Nowadays, there are a lot of reasons kids would have disease that is transmitted by their partner, unwanted pregnancy, and of course, a broken family. Right, and that's because of lack of sex education. Yes. And that's the reason. Nowadays, kids are really curious. Really curious indeed, especially they can directly check it online because of their curiosity. They can check it in social media, they can share it. A lot of people are curious what they want to know about this video, right? Yeah, because of social media. They're really knowledgeable because of today's generation. Yes. Technology. Technology can really impact the brain and the vision of kids nowadays. Yeah. Yes. And uh, hopefully kids nowadays could manage to like learn on their own what sex education is. Yes, hopefully, but it doesn't matter to them. All they want is to experience the unprotected bang bang. Right, and that's the result. Because nowadays, there are lots of like early pregnancy. At early age, they really want to try it. Yes, and of course, for us parents, we want to really have a brighter future for our kids, right? Exactly, guys. So that's the reason why Philippines has a lot of unwanted pregnancy nowadays. So the next question was condoms. So condoms 
it is sell in the pharmacy and it's really common for the pharmacy to sell it because there are adults that would buy it for their contraceptives but what if a teenager a young adult would buy it what will happen to them <laughs> all right so now the thing here in the Philippines for the young adult, they are shy to buy condoms because of lack of sex education. Yes, aside from that, they are being judged. Yeah, because they are not open to the public. Yes, that's true. And it's not common here. If a teenager would buy a condom, a lot of people would stare at you. Exactly. Why is he buying? How old is he? Yeah, that's the reality here in the Philippines, guys. And it's quite difficult for a teenager to go direct to the pharmacy, even though that he would try to hide it, the cashier would know. Yeah, not unlike in your country, it's open. <laughs> it's true. And people would just don't matter if you would just buy a condom. That's just normal for the US or any part of other foreign countries. But here in the Philippines, if you're a teenager and you would buy it and you would think that it doesn't matter, people would really look at you, stare at you, and say, how old are you? It's like that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a, like a big bother to them. Right. That's why I said earlier, that's the reality here in the Philippines. That's true. And for us Filipinos, human as we are, we don't really like to have a condom <laughs> <laughs> during Bang Bang. So I'm going to ask you, do you like having or using a condom no <laughs> <laughs> because I, I cannot feel the heat with my partner maybe yeah i can feel your body heat but i cannot feel the thing i can just feel the plastic and that's it maybe you're thinking there are condoms that is thinner but it's really different it's even really for different. for guys or for me i can say that it's not really good you cannot feel the intimacy the heat of your partner and the connection is not it's really different <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like wearing a raincoat and it's hot outside <laughs> it's not raining <laughs> yeah so you cannot feel the intimacy with your partner at the same time like there's no heat you cannot feel anything around it like <laughs> it's like having a stick on your private pee pee it's like that <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we provide jokes guys but it's the reality for us in the philippines we don't really buy it aside from we are shy we don't have the money to do so it's like if you would have sex or if you do bang bang it's not just one round right right and uh, if you buy like one pack of it and then in one day you will be having sex like Multiple three to, times. to five. Yeah. So that's going to be a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and we're not just talking about one day having bang bang. We're talking about a whole week or it depends if you're really dynamic. Right. Right. It, it, <laughs> there are guys that would have bang bang every day. So how can he buy or supply himself a condom every time that they would have bang bang so maybe you will ask why in the philippines there are a lot of kids especially in the province because they don't use condoms <laughs> they don't use contraceptive guys and it's not enjoyable <laughs> i can say yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's prone to health issues yes disease it's yes, IV, but yeah. if you are just having sex with your partner, not with other girls, that's fine. Yes, and if you already have a Filipina girlfriend or a Nasawa, a wife, she would say, don't use condoms. Well, you can ask your Filipina. If you have a Filipina wife or a girlfriend, then you can ask. And let's see, what's her answer? <laughs> just <laughs> comment to, down. Just comment down. Right? Try to ask, guys. You can share in the comment section what is your experience with your filipina and i'm sure they say don't use condoms it's not fun i cannot feel your thing guys this is the thing you're just like eating a banana with skin <laughs> <laughs> so can you eat that <laughs> it's not enjoyable you cannot taste anything 
<laughs> you cannot eat that banana because it's a, it has a skin, of course. You need to peel it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you have to remove the skin. Yeah, so I hope, guys, that this is really informative to all of you. And I hope that we entertain you too. Yes, so. and uh, also thank you so much for your question and we hope we answered your question. Yeah, so thank you so much guys for watching till the end and we hope to see you in our next vlog. No hate, just, just love. love. Bye! Bye.